Fuck you, man. Two and a half years. I wouldn't cut it, man, if you're on the fence. Yeah, but I don't think that feeling's gonna ever go away just because of how long it took you to go. Right. Can you tie up the top? Oh, mm -hmm. man. Actually, I think I made like two appointments prior and I'd cancel them because I'd get like scared and back out. Well, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta do it when you're ready, you know. That's the thing. Like I said, I didn't think I would ever be ready. Time means everything. Right? Especially you spend a lot of time putting in that. Like, it did teach me a lot of patience, honestly. Oh, yeah, there's it doesn't all go all perfect, you know. So. No. What are you doing for fun, Andy? I'm actually building a Sportster at the moment. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a 2014. I just sent a bunch of parts to be powder coated last week, so I'm waiting for those to come back. Is that hard to build? Uh, not for what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm not doing like engine work, just making it look pretty good. Gotcha. I'll do like exhaust seat. And in bars and grips and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Let me keep this top on. Yeah, my goal was to go three years, but I, I the longer it got, the less I liked it. Right. Well, I don't know. Oh, did you do two and a half? No. That's a long time. Dude. I was actually giving it. My dad gave it to me oh, as a gift because he has another Harley. Mm -hmm. So when I'm done, I was gonna ask him if he wants to go on a cruise and head out like west or something. Is it good for uh, trips? Uh, it would be. Oh, okay. It's not like a big, big bike. Mm -hmm. It's just a sports for 1200. But oh yeah, so I'm cruising down the country roads and stuff would be fun. Maybe. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. You're doing some part, kind of schooling thing I saw on your website, or? Oh yeah, I teach courses, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just here in my AO. I'm like, you're a good boy. If they ask too many questions, I'm like, you know. As in, what do you mean? Like, how to do stuff? No, like, like my classes are pretty cut and dry, but, like, you know, it's based on how to do with you know, your, your classic men's cups that are trendy right now, you know? Yeah. You know, or how to do, how to efficiently do like shorter to longer, you know? So that's kind of like the hardest part is how to get like these uh, nice tighter tapers off the, off the neck and sides, you know? Okay. You know, if someone learns how to do a uh, haircut well, and a guy comes now, Monthly to get his hair cut. You can alone, you're gonna make it back. Yeah. Yeah. One year, one regular. <laughs> That's it. You know, not not that difficult. And I feel most of the salons around here probably don't know how to do a very good fade. No. So that's the thing. It's like so that's the thing. I don't charge per person, so it doesn't matter. If so that's the whole salon you're teaching. Maybe. Yeah. So like you, you can have one person or one thousand. Same same price. Where are we at with that top? How long is it yet? I don't know. Maybe down to your ears. Okay. I feel like my hair being so thick, a little bit longer might make it stay back. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. No, it's long yet. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be just back. Right yeah. away, my favorite. Yeah, that's the Definitely nervous and excited at the same time to see it, honestly. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Looks like I'm myself so. But I, like don't get me wrong, I, I enjoy craft beer, it's just I don't drink. So like, around here, 
in America, they don't have to put like nutritional info on craft beer. Half those craft beers have three times the amount of calories as a Bud Light, if not more. Oh, dude, this one guy is from Canada, they have to. Yeah. He told me that like, a pint of like some of these craft beers are a thousand calories. Jeez. <laughs> that is different. <laughs> So you see how this is all long? Yeah. So like if I comb it down, you know. Um, and you see how it looks from the side and the back, it all blends up. It ain't like a big mop with a big wig on top. So you, know? you don't want it to look like that. You know? And if you slick it back, you know, it's just, you see know, how it blends nice? I, I thinned it so it's got onion pieces so you can do it so like that. And then I left your neck, I just kind of chop, like, or not chop, but you know, just, uh, Yeah, I like how it's not super short. Yeah, yeah, so that it doesn't, so it doesn't look like a, a bald face. Yeah. Yeah, but I like that a lot. And it's so soft. Take that beard up, I'll feel even better. Yeah. Then yeah. you just kind of line it nice. Whatever you want to do. Usually mm -hmm. I trim it short, and I get rid of the neck a lot. Yeah, I'm going to bring the neck yeah, up Yeah, whatever you want to do. I'll get the cheeks nice and get the stash up there, right? So I just clean up the cheeks, clean up under here, and then uh, stash. Try to find us. Man, look at that. Five stars. A whole new person. I love it. I like doing that. Cool, cool, yeah. Transformations? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude, that looks sharp. Well, there you have it. Cut the hair off. A whole new look, a whole new Sean, and it's uh, pretty crazy. I had a lot of anxiety and was extremely scared going into this today, so... Yeah, definitely uh, different.